So y'all, look at this perfect pre-honeymoon setting. Look at our table, look at that, and everything on it. See that? <laughs> look at this room, gosh. Mm. This feels so good. <laughs> no one has ever treated me this good. I love my baby so much. This is so beautiful. Hey, darling. Guys, look at my babies here. <laughs> Baby, come here, show your beautiful face. <laughs> this is the best man I ever prayed for. And my husband to be, yeah? <laughs> Guys, so my baby got me a new phone. So next time we will be streaming live from my new phone because all oh, thanks to my baby, he did it. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. So unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> all right, say bye to my followers. Okay. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> so unbelievable. Must you say that? I must say that. Um, so can we eat now? Yes. Please. Thank you. I'm famished. Oh, this looks right. good. It does, it does. So, here you go. Okay. Okay. And voila! Mm. Got this specially for you. Aww. Especially uh, for me. Exactly. This is so beautiful. Okay. Okay, baby. So, we have to cheers. All right. Yes, we definitely have to do that. But hold on. Oh, oh. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm excited. It's nice. <laughs> okay, so um So what do we toast? Cheers to more babies? No, no babies. Because this is like gonna be a big secret, so more love. Okay. More happiness and no distraction and more money mm. to live the life. Definitely. Yes. Wait, 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 hold on. I second thought you shouldn't be doing this. You know why. Come on. Yes, you shouldn't be doing this. Uh. Okay, Found it. There we go. Ha. Sasha, I told you not to go online. Sasha, please give me my phone. Your second hearing. Sasha, I'm not going in. Just give me my phone. I'm not going again. What do you mean by that? He's waiting for you already. I said I'm not going anymore. So can you please give me my phone? Sis, how long would you keep doing this to yourself? Try 15 years. So you want to spend the rest of your life mourning Ricky? It's been months. Sasha, give me my phone. Come back to it. Sasha, Sasha, give me my phone now, Sasha!
Hey sis, good morning. Where's my phone? <laughs> it's there. Oh, pillows. That one. <laughs> You're not going to work? No, I'm not. Sis, you've not left this house all week. Sasha, can you please leave me alone? I just want to work. I know you have staff that work for you, and whether you show up for a month or not, work is still gone. But leaving this house would help you breathe a little. Fine, I've heard the Sasha. No. <sighs> what was that? Getting there. Well, tell her I'll send her an email and go and collect the card. Hello, babe, how far? Hey, it's my boss, mom. I've been trying to get her on the phone. I can't seem to get her. Oh, yeah, she is. She says she'll send you an email. And I'm coming to pick up the card from you. Are you downstairs? Yeah. Downstairs. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Card. What card? Okay. Okay. Hey, baby girl. Hey, how fun now? What's I up? Didn't. What's up? How is she? Not swings up and down. You know there are people in this life that God will punish over and over and over again. They have no worry. They could still collect. You know karma is a bitch, right? Of course. <laughs> okay. Come on, this is the card, Jerry. Oh, yeah, that's to true. To get back to work. Well, you look so pretty today. Yeah. What plans do you have at that There's office no plan, of yours? <laughs> I'll see you. All right, see you. What is it? I am busy somewhere. What kind of question is that? What do you want? I'm on my way. Whitney here and I am documenting my life journey with you guys for you beautiful people <laughs> and sitting right next to me is my baby Ricky 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 <laughs> I love him so much guys I practically dragged Ricky into this life he was never into social media like I'm sorry I did this to you <laughs> It's all right, it's okay. Hmm? You know how to try anything to Right? <laughs> Guys, did you hear that? Did you just hear that? Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, okay. But it's, it's about time. We just give you a big announcement because it's time, baby. Stephanie, please just come and hold my hands because it's time to give this. I promised you guys that the announcement is coming, and here is it, baby. Guys, hold my hands. I'm holding your hand. Let me breathe. Ta da! It's, it's, it's time. <clears throat> we. Oh. I can't come to say this. Guys, we are. We're pregnant. We are pregnant. Yes! <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. We're having our first baby. And I can't wait for the gender review, baby. Me too. So I'm going to be starting my pregnancy journey series with you guys. And I mean, I just can't wait to share every moment with you. And, you know... If you are new to this family, like I always say, please subscribe by clicking the link below and I'll see you. We have to celebrate it. Bye, guys. Oh, my goodness. Baby. I love you crazy. I love you crazy. You know what? 
can't wait for maybe to start cooking. Yes. <laughs> Already. Uh -huh. I mean, we're going to wait for months now. Yes, I know. <laughs> Hey. Are you just coming back? Yeah. Did she come out of her room at all? No, she didn't. Are you sure? Yes, I wanted to drop something, but she didn't leave. Drop what? Enough of the um, questions. I was waiting for you to say something about the card that Mietunde brought. Oh, it's the complimentary card of a medical doctor. Is she you? Do you think we should talk to her about it? I don't know. You know she's not been saying much lately. Did you see the video they uploaded this afternoon? I did. Saw it. Whitney is pregnant. My God could punish that Ricky. Do you think sis has seen it? I'm sure she has. She has been stalking their page since. What do we do now? Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. Your food is ready. I'm not hungry. Why? But you haven't eaten anything. Okay, when you're ready, the food is on the dining. Michael. Oh, get ready. Um... I need you to take me to a couple of places in 30 minutes. Okay. We are finally home. <laughs> Yes, babe. Oh my God. Hey, what's happening here? Someone broke into my house. Hey, my jewelry. I hope they didn't take my jewelry. I hope you're so crazy. Oh my goodness. You know, you know, everything seems to be all right in there. Nothing seems to be missing. All right. I hope you didn't keep anything valuable in here. No, not at all. Oh, goodness. What? The door isn't broken. The security guard is in her house. How did... How did 
someone get into my house. I mean, obviously, someone who has access to the keys. <sighs> this is not good. Okay, you know what, sweetheart? It's all right, okay? I'll get to the root of this. Okay. Just, just sit down, relax, all right? I can help you. It's fine, it's fine, okay? You yeah, sure? It's all right, it's all right. I'll fix this. All right. <laughs> So, um, it is quite normal at a certain age to experience sudden feeling of warmth on your upper chest when you wake up. Okay. When do you turn 40? Next week. Great. So, with the symptoms you've been experiencing, it's quite clear what your body is trying to say. Okay. When was the last time you had your menstrual cycle? Ten months ago. And um, during this time, you were never pregnant? No. All right. So with the results you brought in from where you had it done, what you're experiencing is um, premenopause, which means you're somewhere around your menopause. OK. Even though menopause at 40 is quite early, but um, we'll run some tests and see how it goes. Okay. I will have you come in once a week for the next one month. Is that okay? Sure. Okay, good. So, another thing. Do you smoke or drink? Uh -huh, no, I do not. Okay, good. So, um... Just uh, add some um, exercises to your daily routine. Take some multivitamins and um, calcium, add them to your diet. Okay, then uh, try to get a lot of rest, okay? Okay. So, the test results you did will be out in four days. Can you come around by then? Yeah, sure. Okay, great. So, I'll save your number and call you if I notice anything. All right. But please, do call me if you experience any other symptoms, okay? All right, I will. Okay. How's Thank you. It? Have a good day. Thank you very much. Good morning, you too. <sighs> How are you? Fine, thank you. I'm so glad to meet you. Ah, I'm so happy to be here too. And uh, thank you for the doctor you recommended. I was able to go see him today. Sure. All right. Hope you're fine. Yes, I am. Okay. So, uh, what do we have here? Yeah, those five comp and files, the companies have been calling for over three weeks. Okay. I told them you've been very busy, but you reach out to them as soon as you can. Right. Mm -hmm. These are one of those companies from last month, yes? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, I went through the brief. They just mainly need restructuring and staffing. Okay. All right. Um, I will... So I can see that you've now moved from... Good morning, sir. Good morning, Newton. So I can see that you've moved from constantly calling me and sending me text messages about the issue of our relationship to coming to my house and tracking things. What? Yes, indeed. Okay. What are you talking about? You are the only one who has access to my house. Well, maybe that's because I bought the house and I furnished it. Oh. 
There she goes again. So typical of you. Giving us a history of our relationship. Look, must we stay stuck together despite the fact that things are not working? Is it my fault? So what would make this relationship not work out? No, tell me. Tell me why it stopped working after 15 good years. What did I ever do to you to no, deserve this? Listen, I didn't come here for lectures. All I've come here to do is to warn you never again, ever again should you come to my house and trash things. So, after all these years you've known me, you really think I would do such a thing? Listen, I've only come here to warn you and that's exactly what I've done, alright? And I would advise you to trash my keys, okay? What am I even saying? As a matter of fact, you can keep them, okay? Keep them as a souvenir. I will change the locks on my door. I have warned you. Have a nice day. Nonsense. I have warned you. Welcome, sis. Oh, hey, Michael. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. Are you okay? I'm fine. Sis. Sis, what is going on? Did you... By any chance, go to Ricky's house. To do what? So you're telling me that this key did not leave this place? What was I supposed to do with the key? I don't understand. Ricky came by my office today. And he accused me of trashing his place because I have this spare key. First of all, he's mad to think you're that kind of a person. This is just throw this key away. Call Sasha for me. Hey, how was work? Okay. What's going on? Did you go to Ricky's house by any chance? Why would I go to his house? Ricky came by the office and he accused me of trashing his house. <laughs> because I have this spare key. Is he crazy to be accusing you? Same thing I said. Is it trashing his house we should be talking about after what he did to you? How about breaking his head? I just, I don't know. I, I've had this key since we broke up. Oh, it's fine. You guys can go. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. You can go. What's up? I'm How's everyone coming to get you? Well, I'm here now. Yeah, what's up? How's my boss? <sighs> She's going through it. Do you know that Ricky came to the office? What? So it was at the office he confronted her? Yes. Ah, that idiot. I was so worried. How is she? I wanted to come and check up on her. <sighs> it's okay. Hello? Big bro. Yes, Indy, where are you? I'm with my friend. What's going on there? No. 
Yeah. You know the one that said that if I get home early, I should make dinner. I'll be home within the hour. Mm. I'm afraid you will have to microwave everything all over. I will. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right. Okay. Mm. Big Bro is making dinner. Oh, your brother cooks? Yes, he does. Wow. <laughs> Mine burns it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go in and have drinks. We okay, can have dinner sure. another time. All right, that's fine. Come in. Hi. What's up? Are you okay? Uh huh. I'm fine. Fine. You Tunde was here. She came to see if you're okay. She's always worrying about me. She said Ricky was at the office. I don't. I don't. I don't want to talk about Ricky right now. Would you rather talk about the doctor you went to see? She told you about that? No, I brought the card to you. Why do you need a doctor? So, um, I started noticing signs of menopause. So I checked the internet and I went to see a doctor. Which means? Which means I am um, reaching menopause any moment now. So your likelihood of having a baby is near zero percent? Yep. And Ricky had the gods to come after you because his house was trashed? Is he mad? Sasha, no, no. How about your time that he wasted? Sasha, enough. No, 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 sis. I was 18 when you started dating him. I'm 33 now. 15 freaking years. Ha! Sasha, I, I'm, I'm too tired for this. I, I don't think I can deal with this right now, okay? I'm tired. Wow. I need to rest. I can't, I can't do this enough. Please. Sasha? You are very wicked. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is that what you came here this early morning to tell me? 15 years. You wasted my sister's life and you pushed her away and, and, and got what, what it's your. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Just, just hold on. Hold it right there. Okay? I will not tolerate you coming to my house and, and, and disrespecting me. How much you're talking, talk, 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 talking down on my wife to me and the mother of my child? What is wrong with you? Does it bother you that she may never have kids again? Because she spent the time she would have been raising kids with another man with you. Huh? Oh, really? So, wait, wait, is, is, is that what she's saying now? <laughs> that I wasted her time? She does not have to say jack to me. I was there all 15 years. Wait, 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 what exactly? Baby? What? what is going on here? No, sweetie, it's okay. Um, I, I can handle it. Alright? I can handle it. It's fine. But who is she? Um... Here is Camilla's younger sister. Oh, please, what do you want? I want you to go to hell and die with your father, the devil. What? Yes. Are you crazy? You are mad. You are very crazy. In fact, you are the stupid one. You are very mad. So you better tell this thing. Because if I lay my hands on you, you will wake up and will you my mind and get out of my house. What is wrong with you? I will go. But well, God will punish you. God will punish the both of you. You need to get out of my house. Yes, man. Get out. Get out. Can you imagine? Answers. 
What? It's alright, it's alright, right, okay. You know what? I'm going to call her sister and I'm going to warn her. Huh. I'm going to call her sister and tell her to warn this idiot. Oh no, you have to tell her to stop this girl. It's alright, okay. What? What nonsense? Sweetie, I'm sorry about that, please. I'm sorry. Ready to go? Yes, it's time for work. Okay. So, did you speak to her? Of course I did. I had to warn her. I mean, I told her to warn her sister. Seriously. No, you know, I don't take nonsense. Especially when it concerns you, my love. Oh, my <laughs> handsome. So, what are you having? Just having fruit and tea. Mm. Mm. Okay. I mean, you and my baby are always. Been a good time, and I happy to apply. Well. <laughs> <laughs> well, not as much as we love you, baby. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Tell me, sir. Like I said, I gotta go. Uh, baby. Work. So, have a good day. Of course, I will. And take care of yourself. Of course, I will. Yeah. Please do not stress yourself. I will. Baby. No. Hmm? no. I promise. Love you, baby. Okay. Love you. Love you too. Take care of yourself, my sugar. Take care, my love. Sasha, she's not here yet. Why don't you just come over for a few minutes so we can talk? I'm not so sure when she'll be back. Okay, fine. Um, I'll send you the address of the restaurant close by. Um, but can you be here by two? Okay, okay then, that's fine. Perfect. Uh, I'll see you soon. Sasha, how many times, how many times do I have to tell you that I don't want confrontation? I'm sorry. Why would you go there in the first place? I was not thinking. Oh, goodness. Look, I do not want this man calling me and yelling at me. Maybe I should go there and break his head for yelling at you. He's very stupid. Michael, let me not hear you say that again. Then I'll be doing it and saying you where you hear about it later. Oh, for goodness sake, how many times do I have to tell you people that Ricky is my business? He's not just your business, sis. Stop making it seem like he didn't hurt us all and insult this family. He practically lived with us. For 15 years, he was in our lives. Then one day, he comes up with one stupid story and walks away. And the next thing, we see him parading a pregnant woman on the internet. I have been trying. I have been trying to move on from the last 15 years of my life. But both of you just won't let me. Then stop shutting us out. We're hurting to talk to us. <sighs> so 
Sasha. Look, I, I'm sorry I yelled at you. And I know you're fighting for me, but no more confrontation. Okay? Uh, and Michael, no breaking of anybody's head. No. I was the one in that relationship for 15 years. 15. It's my fault, okay? So let me be the one to bear the consequences. Now she's blaming herself. We need to do something for her. She's drowning. Do what? I can't think of anything. You've already missed a lot. See, I'm just asking for a full table. I'm not asking for everybody. You think they will you allow me to watch this TV in peace? Hey, look, I've already told you I don't want this birthday thing. I'm tired of doing this with you every year. I'm tired of how depressing this house makes me feel. Oh. So having people come over and hanging things here and there is what is going to get you out of this depression? Yes. I still don't want. Okay. No, I'll stop packing my bags. What do you mean by that? You think I'm asking you, what do you mean by you stop packing your bags? I'm too young for how this house makes me feel. So where would you go to? I have options. Hmm. I'm your only sibling. We have cousins. Which of our cousins are you close to? I have friends. Name them. You don't know my friends. That your friend better not be a man. What if he's a man? Well, you know better than to ask me that question. Then you know what to do. It's either we bring a cake and people around here, or I pack my bag and go. Simple. Everyone eating my popcorn. Beg hmm? your hand. Don't want to do party. You're eating popcorn. You this girl, you're learning bad things. So you wanted to bribe me with popcorn. Michael, we don't have time. She's hitting menopause like right now. So what do you suggest we do? Find a way to get a guy into our life. Which guy? This has been with just one guy for 15 years and there is no ex anywhere to go and whine, maybe to come back. How about a new guy? New guy? Does she let anyone come close? Did she not turn down your boss that wanted to take her out the other day? Hmm. If he was turned down, it would have been better. She stood him up. He's been frowning at me since that day. And starting a new relationship is going to take time. And sis will never get pregnant out of wedlock. It's one principle she would never break. This week. So if sis had agreed to get pregnant that time you wanted her to, if I don't abandon her with the child I'm now. I'm telling you. I don't even know what's so difficult in getting married to someone you claim to be your moon and your star. I knew that guy never had plans for her. And sis, she's just too loyal. Always trying to make things work. I swear, if not, if I don't bushy that stupid guy since now. Useless human being. Very stupid man. Oh, I'm so pained. So guys, we were deciding about what color our baby string would look like. And we're deciding if it's going to be pink or blue. But you know, we're going to have to wait until the gender reveal. You know? <laughs> Girl! Man, you know what? I can't wait to show you what my next video is going to look like. It's going to be fantastic because I'm going to be showing you the decor. You know, my baby's room is going to be literally rich baby's vibe. You know that. <laughs> That's how I roll, baby. Rich baby's vibe. Everything has to be rich. So, 
If you have not subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe. Don't do yourself because big announcement is coming soon. I'm going to be sharing with you guys what the doctor is going to be telling me and maybe to take literally diets, obviously, yes. Okay, so see you in my next video. All right, subscribe, share this video. Let's love each other and be good. <laughs> Bye, honeys. Bye. So the medical doctor is your brother? Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think I'm finally getting to him after I threatened I was going to leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> but now the problem is I have no idea how to plan a party. I mean, it can't be such a big party. Uh, not necessarily, but it has to be very, like, it's a very important party. You know, his wife used to plan all of his birthdays. The last one he had was seven years ago, a few months before she died. Since then, he has refused to be celebrated. So this one is very important. So, in other words, you want me to help you plan it? Yes. Why are we having this conversation? <laughs> you plan all of your big sister's um, parties now, so... Um, okay, I'll help you. <laughs> First of all, I'll need his okay. full name. Okay. Uh, a picture of him. Okay. And then I would have Michael design an invite. We okay. just use it to invite friends. Okay. How old would he be? 42. I'm sending you the picture right now. Okay. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's do this. Let's go. So, how much are you paying? I'm sorry, what? You heard me. No. How much are you paying, sis? I can't hear you, Dee. The, wait, wait, wait. you know, there's too much noise. I really want to understand this. You want me to do it for free? I don't understand. So if I give you money, you will collect it. My sister, ah, I'll collect even more. You are not serious. Do you know my work? Which work? Go and sit down there. There's no only work. Look at my face. Which? So I'll plan your... Guy, don't try me. Don't plan it now. Don't plan it. Hmm. You will come back. Don't worry. I'll see you. Mm. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm, I'm a, how, much, how much are you going to pay I'm me? I'm down. I hope you like <laughs> Say thank you. I'll use that same life for you. <laughs> He looks good. And what's even interesting is that his sister's doctor. It still doesn't make it easy. But I want to meet him. Get his number from here Tunde. I would want to pay him a visit. <laughs> and say what? Forget about what I'll say to him. I just want to have a feel of him. Okay, fine. And you also have to be very quick with the design. I'm on it. Good. Since all the test results are coming back the same, can this be the last one? I can understand how tiring this can be. But can we do two more tests? And if the results are still the same, then we can make do with it. Okay, if you say so. I have to get back to the office. There's some things I need to take care of. Okay. Do have a good day then. All right. Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye. Sasha, how far? Is my sister back at the office? No, no, she's not back. What's up? I'm just trying to check on her. Oh, okay. Um, how far the car that Michael is designing? Um, I'll call you back. My boss just walked in. Yeah, Tunde. You know... Uh, you know you don't have to end your call so quickly. There's not much for you to do here. I'll call back now. Okay. Are these the files I'm supposed to work on? Yes. Okay. Hmm. Alright, I'll take care of it. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry. Excuse. 
Uh, uh, sorry to waste your time. Okay. Uh, my name is uh, Michael, and um, my friend um, recommended that I talk to you about my woman. He said you're the best gynecologist in town. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. Uh, but then I'm used to having my sessions with the women, or at most, yeah, men coming along with them. So why are you not here with your woman? I, I wanted to find out a few things on my own. Oh, okay. I'm listening. So, um, how, how do I get it right the first time? I'm sorry, I don't understand. I am trying to get her pregnant with one attempt. Oh! Why is it important to you that you get it in one attempt? I would not like to miss. Oh. But don't you think that would be putting yourself under unnecessary pressure? I mean, why don't you just go ahead and enjoy your relationship? And if it happens, it happens. So, why am I getting married if she's not going to get pregnant? Is she a baby factory? I mean, is that why you married her? To get pregnant? Mm, part of. Oh. Well, uh, Mr. Michael, the truth is that um, some women will not be able to get pregnant. And it's not their fault. See, so there's no point crucifying them for something they know nothing about. And they, it's not like that's the only way to get a baby, though. Mm. Many people would not talk like this. Unfortunately. And to mention also, sometimes it's um, the men that are the reasons why they cannot get pregnant, you know? I, I need to check myself. I was going to mention that before you say that. So, <laughs> so before you go on your um, one attempt, probably you should go check yourself All too. Right. All right. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You much. Um, Mr. Michael. Oh, nice to meet you, Mr. Thank Michael. You. All right. Thank you. All right. Hey. Hey, sis, you're back. Welcome. Thank you. I'm back. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I'm fine. I made food. Should I dish it? No, no, no. It's fine. I had a salad earlier. Oh, I see. I just came to check up on you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Look. Where was I? Okay, got it. Okay. I like him. But the ring on his finger shows he hasn't gotten over his wife yet. Has sis gotten over Ricky? Eh, both of them will be carrying past relationship baggage up and down now until they're tired. No I'd like that. I like the way he thinks. Hmm. He's just the kind of guy sis needs in her life. But the possibilities of bringing the two of them together is what I don't see. Hmm. Well, in that case, we just have to find a way to get them closer to each other. But you know our sister now. She deals uh, with things in silence. <laughs> She's the only girl in this world that Ricky would do that kind of thing to. And she would just keep crying. If it were me, <laughs> I would have broken all the bones in his body. I beg, forget that guy. Ha! I just wish I knew how to cook, eh? I would, I would make her meal and that way I would know where her mind is. I'll teach you. But you pay. No problem. <laughs> but you need to get close to your Tundi. Uh -huh. So we'll be sure all this is possible. If not, let's find someone else because there's no time. Yeah, that's right. And we also need to see it today with the invitation. Yeah, let, let me show you what I did. Okay. Oh, wow. This makes sense. You did this yourself? Mm -hmm. Oh, but this is really nice. I like. I like. But that Ricky. Ricky is mad, shall I beg. Forget ah! that guy. God to punish you. God to punish you. I touch anything. This is 
so weit in der Tür. Oh mein Gott! Oh, Gott! Never in my life did I believe. Oh Gott, das ist so exciting. Oh my life, I, I only hoped for a better life, but I never knew it was gonna happen like this and this is the first. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh God. Yeah. Oh goodness. I'm so happy for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh God. Oh. You got money now. Yeah, it's you. Oh goodness. Check me out. Check me out. Check me out. Oh. Oh goodness. Wait, wait, wait. Check me out. I'm dreaming. Wake me up. Wake me up. Wake me up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. <laughs> this is so nice. I really love it. I'm happy you like it. I do. And I think you should invite his close friends. He doesn't have a lot. Can I invite you guys? Mm -hmm. Of course. And you should invite our sister too. I thought about that, but you know she's my boss. And I'm not close with her personally. I'm closer with you guys. Hmm. Tell her about your brother. Let her see reasons why celebrating him would ease his pain. I'm sure she would connect to it. Exactly. That should work. And I'll be there to make sure everything goes smoothly. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are the best. But I have to run. I have a few errands to run. Oh, okay. See you guys okay. later. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Bye. All right. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. 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 <laughs> In progress. I know, right? I hope so. <laughs> okay, um, let me show you this. Is there something else? Come in. Michael. Good morning, sis. Good morning. Breakfast in bed? Yes. <sighs> and I made everything myself. Oh, Michael. I am okay. Are you sure? You bottle things up a lot. Yes, but I can guarantee you that I am okay. Why are you not angry? <sighs> Who says I'm not angry? Look, I'm not the type of person to scream and shout and break things or plan revenge. I'm not like that, you know. I do. But I don't want you, you know, struggling to make me happy. I don't want you to do that. I am fine. I am okay. All right? And yes, every now and again... I would, you know, get low, but I will come out of it. I just want to be talking with you like this every day. Okay. You can talk to me as long as you like. Okay. But tell me, did you really make this? Mm-hmm. Really? I did. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'll leave you to eat. I send the IV to your WhatsApp. So you went ahead and designed an invitation card? Yes. I thought I told you I don't want, an, want a celebration. Literally, why won't you just wait at least for your own if you want to throw a party? My birthday is passed for this year. It's just yours remaining. So you will not respect my wish then? Can you just be flexible for once? Let me liven up this place. You know what? Do whatever you want. So you are not eating again? Take your food. Yeah, come in. 
Aha. Good morning, ma. Good morning, yeah. I've been trying to talk to you about this invite you sent me. Yes, I want to talk to you about that. Okay. So I'm trying to help my big brother here. Big brother? Wait. This is Dr. Wally, the, the one you introduced me to? Yes, ma'am. That's your brother? Yes, ma'am. I didn't know. Why didn't you say anything? Well, the day I brought his car to the house, I didn't see you. And I'm sorry, but I forgot to tell you afterwards. Oh, yeah. At that time, I wasn't really in the right mindset to talk to anybody. Okay, so about this healing thing, what's that about? He lost his wife seven years ago. Lost his what? 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 He wears a wedding band? Just refuse to stop wearing it. Oh no. <sighs> um. Okay, so um. <sighs> so his wife was a very exciting person. She used to make a big deal of all his birthdays. Now, since his wife died, he has refused to celebrate. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to make sure he celebrates this year. And it will mean a lot to me if you can come. Okay, um, I'll see what I can do. But this is really selfless, what you're doing. I'm very proud of you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Thank you very much. I'll get back to work now. Where are my two favorite people in the world? Baby! Oh, you're not in. You're back. Yes, I am. Welcome. Mm. Oh. Hmm. How are you? I'm good. So tell me, hope you didn't stress yourself and uh, my baby. Of course not. Sure? Mm -hmm. Good shit. So what did you have today? Fruits, baby. Mm, as usual. Mm hmm. That's for the baby. Uh, do you mind if I have a soup? Sure. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. mm. Tastes good. You know what? Let me go inside, freshen up, and I'll come and join you. I'll grab my Okay? Right. Oh. So I'm thinking there are two things, right? Mm -hmm. We can either focus our attention here mm -hmm. or the dining area. Or people can move to the dining area when it's time to eat. Mm -hmm. That works. And we don't even need to do too much decoration, you know? Mm -hmm. Maybe just a few balloons here and there. But we need mm -hmm. to make the dining table very beautiful. Yeah. What else? I think those are the basic things we need yeah. to figure out. And then mm. maybe food. So we need some decorations here and there, and that's it. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Good evening. This is Sasha, my friend and my boss's younger sister. Oh, nice to meet you, Sasha. Same here. Yeah, don't tell me Yetunde is dragging you into one of her birthday shenanigans. <laughs> Go and invite your friends. I don't have any friends to invite. I don't know what to do with him. 
I think you need to convince him not to wear his wedding ring on his birthday. Hmm? <laughs> what? How am I going to do that? It's going to be very hard. I mean, if he wears it, people might start asking after his wife. And that could just spoil his mood, don't you think? Mm. That's true. That's true. Well, we'll talk about that later. Let's continue. Okay. Um, what do you think we, we should cook and stuff? Okay, food. Mm -hmm. Should we do swallow? No, I'm not sure everybody will want to eat swallow. Just a minute. <clears throat> yep. uh, uh, when did you get this domesticated? That is what love does to you. So you love me that much? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I love you too, and thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> um, can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. I did say you could talk to me about anything, anytime. So, what's up? Um, will you ever fall in love again? <sighs> oh, Michael, I don't know. And being 40 doesn't mean you're old and useless, you know. I know. But with all that you've been through, I was just wondering if you'd want to try again. Sis, you have the purest heart. And you need someone to share it with. I know, Michael, but I'm just so numb, you know? I, I, I can't feel anything, and I don't know if I will. That's just... That's just as as much as I can tell right now. Okay. I, I just wanted to know. Uh, enough about me. <laughs> How are you? How's your girlfriend? When is she coming back from Canada? In three months' time. Oh. <laughs> Lover boy. Oh, yeah, eat. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> ah, ah. <laughs> I understand that all you've been trying to do is to just make me happy. And I appreciate it. Okay? I'm sorry for not saying it earlier. Okay. I know how close you were with Auntie Bumi. And I knew it was going to take you a while for you to get over her. I also see you laugh and smile outside and... You're so quiet when you come home. I will try to start getting over her, okay? And I'm sorry for shutting you out. Does that mean you're going to invite people for tomorrow? Uh, maybe one or two persons will be coming. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... How come you didn't tell me that you were sending your boss over to me? I'm sorry. I totally forgot. I didn't even tell her I was sending her to you. So when I took the card to the house, she was going through a rough patch. So I thought. Rough patch? Did she discuss her medical issues with you? No. Does she have medical issues? No, she, she doesn't. So... What rough patch are you talking about? I can't discuss that with you. Okay, fine. Uh, one, one more thing. Can you not wear your ring when people are here tomorrow? Why would you ask me that? I'm sorry, but I don't want people to start talking about it. Most of these people know Auntie Bumi is late. And it might help you start moving on.
so loud. Well, thank you. Ah, 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 Dr. Ovina. How are you? Thank you very much. Ah, how is the hospital? Dr. Abigail. You're welcome. How are you? I'm fine. Happy birthday to you. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Michael, wait, did Yetun send you here? I am Camilla's younger brother. Ah. Happy birthday. Oh, wow. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Happy birthday, oh, Sasha. <laughs> Thank you very much. I know you helped him put this together. You're welcome. Camilla, hey, I'm so sorry Yetun dragged you into oh, this. Oh, no, it's fine. So. Are you sure? Oh, of course. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate your presence. You're welcome. Well done. Ah, ah, no, Esther. Ah, ah, how are you? Fine, happy birthday. How are you? How are you? No, Stiti, you too. Oh, you're looking good. It's good to see you out of your nurse uniform. <laughs> ah, Dr. Chuku Dr. Wale. Ah, how are you? Happy birthday to you. Wow, I'm so happy. Oh, yes, yeah, today. Oh, yes, yeah, today. Ah, oh. I appreciate you. Yeah. I know, I know. Oh, Thank it's okay. You. It's okay. Let's not be mushy. Can we all go to the dining, please? Let's go cut the cake. Let's go cut the cake this way. This way, please. So um, we're going to count on the count of three. We're going to spell Wally, and then he cuts the cake. One, two, three. W A L E. Thing is yet they tried I, she she insisted I kept telling her no I don't want this but I, I'm really happy you know this this just brings back memories like like I just it's over it's over well 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 man um can, can just give me a second I'm coming please okay, okay. Guys, so my brother is very emotional. Let's not spoil the mood. Uh, let's dig in, dig in, dig in, dig in. Let's have yeah. fun. Eat, drink, yeah, anything you want to do. Sorry, I embarrassed myself in there. <gasps> Even if I'm well aware of what today is, I, I still couldn't control myself. Well, it's nothing. I see you took off your ring. You turned me in. Thinks it will help me move on. And do you feel you're moving on? I don't know. You know, I feel so sad right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, it's just that um, 
Sadness has been my companion for the past few months now, so I, I know how you feel. What happened to you? Oh, me? <laughs> oh. <sighs> Me, the man that I was seeing for the past 15 years, just left me a few months ago. What? 15 years? <laughs> I know, right? But do you have kids for him? years is a lot of time to have spent it somewhere. <laughs> right. <laughs> How do you feel right now? I'm floating. So sorry. No. I'm sorry. to move on, I swear. <laughs> it's true, me too. Oh, I don't want to mess up my makeup. It's okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hey, how are you? I'm okay, and you? Oh, I'm fine. I'm sorry I made you cry. No, you didn't. I was too emotional and it triggered your pain. Well, having someone to cry with for a change felt good. I should gather my siblings and have them crying with me when I'm in the mood again. <laughs> I like the way you play down on the craziness that is going on around you. You have also done well masking your feelings. Can I take you out for lunch? I just want to talk. I haven't felt like talking in seven years. It will be great. Let me know where and when. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I'll talk to you later then. Good night. All right, good night. You know, just like a premonition, I had this feeling that something was happening. So I, I left my office and I went home. When I got into my bedroom, there she was, lying cold on the floor. You know, till today, I don't know how I got to the hospital. But it was already late. Cardiac arrest. Oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. 
I spent um, 24 months in shock until I started um, getting better and responding to, to things. So, loss can be such a terrible thing. It is. You know, yesterday was like, oh, so I'm finally confronting this thing. So how are you feeling now? Well, I'm grateful for yesterday. Well, it made me realize that I, I need to start living a little. Thank you for coming to look for me. That's nothing. That's fine. So your story, um, it got me thinking. You're not angry. I mean, this guy took you from 25 to 40 and then he just bolted like that. You know, everybody expects me to be angry, but I just, I just can't be angry like that. I don't know why. Maybe, maybe it's because I know the part that I played. No, don't do that to yourself. You loved and trusted this guy. You expected him to take decisions for both of you. Well, yes, but I should have made decisions for myself too. I should have. But I was just much more con concerned with making it work. You know, the other day he came to my office and can you imagine what he said to me? What did he say? I have no more use for you. What? He says, come back. <laughs> I mean, it's my fault. I should have left maybe at the fifth year or the seventh year. I should have left. And men don't go through menopause. I was the one that wanted kids too. And I should have made some type of effort, but I didn't. So it's my fault. You know you're a strong woman. This chicken is stronger than me. <laughs> <laughs> you see the thing I like about you, you find a way to joke around everything. <laughs> mm. But you're strong though. You have to give yourself that credit. For staying that long, have you? Yeah. It's Generally, terrible. yeah. Mm. <sighs> Only you can be you. Showing emotion is better than just saying it. How would you be emotional about someone you just met? To be so unreal, she would suspect something. How will you not be real? We need to be very convincing. The only way our plan will work is if they're both in close proximity. If not, nothing will happen. We need to put two of them in the same. Hey, sis. Hey. Welcome. Welcome, sis. What's going on? You guys okay? Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, sis, what? we want to have dinner with Dr. Wally. We're still sad about what happened yesterday. He's so lonely, and yet today confirmed that. So how is one date supposed to cure his loneliness? Not just one, sis. We're talking about mini dates, lunch, dinners. Okay, if you ask me, that sounds like a lot. But I guess you can run it by Yetunde. If she's okay with it, then I guess it's fine. Thank yeah. you. Okay. Make sure you and Yetunde handle the cooking. I don't trust this guy. <laughs> Wait, what? You, you like my food. You, you like my food, though. Do Come on. <laughs> Shame on you. You <laughs> learn how to cook. Well, she likes the food. I was surprised when Michael called to invite Yetunde and I for dinner. Is that you? Still trying to make sure I don't cry on my birthday, eh? Okay, I'll be there. Thank you.
Tana. I mean, you've been, it's been 20 minutes. 20 good minutes. Tana, come now. See, the only way this is going to work is if we do it exactly as we planned. But Tana, you have to be here. Tana. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so sorry, babe. I'm so, so sorry. Are you sure everything is ready? I have everything. Ready? Are you sure? I have everything. Come on. She was on the floor. There was blood, so I, I rushed her to the hospital. The, the doctor said she had a miscarriage. Hey, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You have another baby. Is in love with you. Yes. <laughs> you see, she just goes and she misses you in a few minutes and she's back. I see. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, regardless of the fly, I like this place. I like the spot very much. Um, Michael, how did you get this place? Mm -hmm. Wait till we see where I'm taking you guys tomorrow. Oh. Uh, okay. okay. <laughs> That's plans for us. All right. <laughs> All right, we're waiting. Hope it's as cute as this. Yeah. Like more, more picture spots. Yeah, um, guys, can you give me a minute with Camila? I want to take her away. I want to discuss some things with her. Yeah, sure. Okay. okay. Um, Camila, please, can I? Sure. You know what, what, what I like about this place? It's very colorful. Camila, what is it? My brother and sister, they're really putting in so much effort to making us happy. And? Just that these, these dinners, I don't think I'm cut out for it anymore. I, I, don't, I don't know. Why? But you were okay with it. Yes, but I'm... There's just so much going on and I'm dealing with so much. I, I, I need to focus. 
Look, it's okay, Camila, okay? I know you're going through loss. I went through loss and I'm still going through loss. Yeah, so I can understand. You don't, you don't understand what I'm going through. Okay, so just, I need to deal with this by myself. You know, the best way... Okay, you know what, it's okay. I would um, drop you off. Grab my, let me grab my things. So, guys, um, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Sis, are, are you okay? Hmm? I'm okay. What would make me not okay? You kind of look unhappy. I'm okay. I'm no longer interested in those dinners. Why? Something is just... I just don't want to do it anymore. I'm not interested. I saw that face. <sighs> what made her go mad? I thought she was having fun and smiling. I even thought she was starting to like him. <sighs> Where did we get it wrong? Come in. Camilla, how are you doing? Dr. Wally, hi. Please sit down. Thank you. I wasn't expecting to see you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, did I do something wrong? No, why? because I called you the whole of yesterday and you didn't take any of my calls. Um, well, I wasn't really in the frame of mind to answer calls and you didn't call at an appropriate time. But are you sure we're good? Are we okay? Because I can understand the sudden change in Doctor, attitude towards Doctor, me. Doctor Wale, it's fine. Can we talk about this some other time? Please. Are you asking me to leave your house? No, 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 no. I'm just saying, like, can we, can we not, can we not do this right now? Let's talk about this. Okay, fine. So I'll see you some other times, huh? Um. Okay.
Hi, sis. Hey, what's up? Can I talk to you? Yeah, what's going on? I thought you and Dr. Wally are becoming kind of friends. Well, I don't know what you mean by that question, but if you're talking about the dates, uh, yeah, we had a good time. But I need to focus now, so. I hope you know not everyone will treat you like Ricky. Sasha, I'm really tired. Do you still love Ricky? Sasha, good night. Sis, it's just a simple question. If he comes back, would you go back to him? Sasha, good night. I forget that thing. I don't want to get pregnant. Maybe I'm still dealing with the psychological effect of this miscarriage. <laughs> My followers don't skyrocket because of miscarriage. <laughs> no, be you. No, be you go help me miscarriage belly where I don't get. <laughs> ah, girl. You don't know how much I've made from this guy kept going on and on about how he wanted to start a family and you know me now I just kid into it knowing that he's rich <laughs> I'm going to break up with him soon and girl <laughs> he promised to buy me the latest C300 <laughs> I beg forget that thing I'll talk to you later beg bye bye man this is Where did you get home, baby? Hi, Camilla. How are you doing? Hi, Dr. Wale. What are you doing here? I came to see you. I figured you'd be at home. I need to talk to you. Okay, well, can it wait? Because I have this thing that I need to do. Oh, please, stop that. Look, I'm tired of staying up at night wondering what I did to have lost even your friendship. Huh? Look at this. I wore this and it doesn't feel like it used to. In this short while that I've known you, you did something to me. I'm not your ex. Don't say that. Oh, I will say that. Because that's the only reason I can think of that will make you cut me off like that. See, your family, you guys made me feel something that I've been searching for for the past seven years. Is it, is, is it about the dinners? We can, we can have the dinners. I just, I just wouldn't be there. The dinners will mean nothing if you're not there. Okay, what would I do with your brother and your sister? Are they the one? I don't think of them. It's you that I think of. What do you want? I want you. Okay? I want you. Look, I'm not going anywhere for Christ's sake. I'm not going. Where would I go to? Where? When everything I want is here. I want you. You know what? I'll just let you go back to what you were doing. Now you're wearing it. Wait. Were you and your friend? Both of you. No, you didn't mean it. 
eyes. Now, so you did not mean I don't trust you. Your eyes. <laughs> no, no, I don't no, trust you one bit. Trust me. Trust me. Hi, Sasha. What are you doing here? Hey. Hi, Camila. Excuse you. Michael. I'll I'll take you from here. Um look. Words can't describe how bad I feel for all I've done. But sincerely from the depth of my heart. I'm so sorry. And you think so is going to fix it? Uh, look, I couldn't sleep all night. Reason why I'm here. Camilla, all I ask for is your forgiveness, please. Uh, give me another opportunity to make it up to you, please. Ricky. We can need some time. How long? Try 15 years. Michael! But... Ricky! Ricky, I need some time! You, you, you can take as much time as you want. But just know that I'm sincerely and deeply sorry. You have to leave. It, it's nice seeing you again. You know what, I... I'll, I'll keep in touch. Sis, sis, listen. You, you can't take this guy back. You can't. Are you kidding me? She's going back to him? Never. Come on. Sis. I've been left heartbroken. My heart's turning to two. I don't even know what to do. Gave you my best years, and all you did was walk away. I can't even help but cry. You took away the best part of me. You took away the best part of me.
just have to make. Okay. Careful. Why did you make me dress up? Just take short steps. Okay. Okay. There so we go. What are you planning? Just hold on. Okay. What's going on? Just stay still. I got you. Okay. Okay. Fear not. Right. And voila. <laughs> what is going on? Camilla, ever since I met you, I became sure of two things. One is that the sun will rise and set every day. And the second is that I love you. I love you so much. And I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Marry me, Camilla. I don't mind marrying you right now, right here, if you will say yes to me. Say yes! I love you so much. <laughs> Yet, yeah, so is it going to be a boy or a girl? I want a girl. Yeah, I want a girl. Yeah, I want a boy. <laughs> no, I want a girl. <laughs> oh. Hello, Sasha. <laughs> What's this one doing here? Hi, Michael. Uh, uh, look, honestly, I I'm not here to cause trouble. I'm not. Uh, I'm just wondering if by chance maybe Camilla happens to be around. Listen, leave us alone. Just leave us alone, please. Like just go, just go. Uh -uh. Just allow me. Just allow me. Just allow me, please. Go. Just. <laughs> Ricky. Camilla. <laughs> Wait, here's the Ricky, right? Oh, that's the Ricky. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing here? Camilla, you're, you're pregnant? But I, I, I never thought you... You never thought I could get pregnant, right? <laughs> Just what, remember, I always told you, I've always wanted kids with Because you. you didn't hear me when I was telling you that I wanted kids too. Hmm? Listen, I really don't even have time for this mess. As you can see, I'm married and you can see it, right? Um, honey, you know what? Let's just go inside. Yeah, let's. Right, let's, let's. Kamar is a bitch. <laughs> you know that, right? Heartbroken, my heart's turning to 
Shots at life again. 